Hi, everybody. I'm Tina. This is To the Inner Wild. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> mm, today, we are doing Protection Candle 3 Wax Strip Energy Read with the debris. So, I guess it's also an herb reading. <clears throat> now, let's talk a little bit about something. Angels of love and light. Of course, I call you in our ancestors, our higher selves, our inner children. Hmm. Who else do we want to call in? We'll call in our cosmic families this time. Um, the Fae. Yeah, I feel like the elementals. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ascended Masters, sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You're welcome, in. All right. <clears throat> so, I don't know what to talk about today. I mean, I feel so much better. It is the day before the full moon in Leo. And as I always say, the energies of the full moon or that of a new moon, carry through three days before and three days after. That is a general rule of potency. Some are more sensitive than others and have callings that are in more in advance than the norm. You follow through according to your resonance. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, so I'm feeling much better. It's been about a week that I've been stuck in bed just and it's not just being incapacitated it's really needing that sleep so I slept like a baby or a, a, as long as a baby and <clears throat> definitely needed that part of it was a test because oh gosh what else what do we want to talk about I'm just feeling much better and the tests, the series of tests that I went through, I mean, this whole thing about like a doctorate program with the divine is super duper intense. It's not just exciting when you hit these gifts or the magnified degree of them. It's, that's, that's the, that's the exciting part of it. But <clears throat> there's also the other side of it where you have to take them seriously and learn how to put them to best use and understand where you're, when you're most effective. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of getting to know yourself again these new parts of yourself, or rather ancient parts. Yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> I don't know what else to say about that. Um, because I can't tell you everything that goes on. Your, your lesson is best learned as you go through it. It's just very different. I, I have a nostalgic, uh, like I, I'm, I kind of miss, cause I have to be careful with my words. The stronger that you become, the more careful you need to be with your manifestations, your intentions, and definitely what you put out there, even verbalizing it. So I have to be careful with saying certain things that I would normally say, my old self would say, that any normal person would say without a even giving it a second thought because it's a figure of speech. 
that we've all grown accustomed to. So, I, I've been used to the easier tests. <laughs> These ones where, like, it's, things are just not as familiar. Even the communication is different because you have to become more self-reliant. That is what I can tell you. You have to trust yourself. You have to have this ultimate confidence. This is not blind confidence. This is really understanding your truth. And being brave enough to stand in it. And trusting it so much that you're not having to constantly check notes and cross-reference, ask for a validation, even from the divine. Because after that phase of testing is over, you receive that. It's like really when you get graded on an exam, um, a midterm, a final even, and uh, you don't constantly ask for validation while you're taking the test. So, yeah, when it comes to higher learning, it's it's different. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the easiest thing that I can link it to. <clears throat> yeah, I just <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, so. Here we are, protection candle number three, crescent moon, looks like, first off. This is an energy reading, so this is going to provide us with a few answers. This is mainly my reading, but because you're here, you're either here out of curiosity and will still find some answers, believe it or not. <laughs> um, and our pointer is going to be a... <clears throat> stem of a fern. This is a silver lady fern. I think that's what it's called. Uh, anyhow, I'm super resilient. And whenever I try to burn this, it doesn't, it's like, it's so self-contained that it'll burn on its immediate part, but it'll self-implode and kind of part so that it doesn't progress down the line. So that's probably why, you know, it's just adaptability. It's, it's the, the way it behaves under fire is very unique from what I'm used to seeing on other plant debris, especially after, after it's been dried out. Yeah, it's, it's very unique. <clears throat> um, all right, so that's something to say about ourselves. It's, it's basically grace under fire. We are becoming so adaptable and resilient and self-contained when under pressure, even with our own anger, we manage it so well that we're able to self-sustain and persevere. All right, what are we seeing here? Mm -hmm. This is um, Protection Candle 3. As you can see, you can see the metal pieces. So that's the first one. And the second one, I think, is right around here. And there's a third one from here. So the third one behaved similar to the first candle in completely annihilating all form of residue and just leaving debris. But it's also a hybrid leaning into protection candle too, where it does have some of this left over. And what do we want to say? <clears throat> what do I see here? Being a hybrid on the third, it gives me Goldilocks vibes, having the comfortable balance of both worlds. Mm. Things seem to be just right, especially when its polarizing contrast is also a reality. It's learning the differences through trial and error, but understanding gratitude is more of a lesson in appreciation than compromise. 
So when we are in a new place and are getting, getting acclimated, acclimated, we remember that we are not only a visitor, but also a guest. We must know our place, but remember our bodies as a temple on its own, deserving of mutual respect. I've dropped this bowl so many times and, it, and nothing has been marred in here, so that's pretty cool. This tells me that even when you have a meltdown, you are still able to hold things together. It means that even as you fall or are dropped, you are super resilient. Hmm. I still see the Om symbol um, here in the middle. That symbol was left over from Candle 1, so your ability to and methods of finding peace are divinely sound. I see like an alien, like the elongated skull in the back. Yeah. <clears throat> and like a tail. So it's kind of... I don't know why. Is it like a, a reptilian alien? But it's shooting a gun at this black void. Um, it's... Do you see that? The elongated skull right there. And then you see that it's pointing a gun to me there. Do you see that? And then the, the tail. Hmm. This reading links to the other, where cosmic warring is first introduced into my readings. I wonder why. Where's warring? Why though? It's the macrocosmic sampling of what's happening on a global level. It not only marks a difference of opinion and culture, but an ignorance and thus lack of respect. This ultimately leads to worlds against worlds with no other dialogue except the exchange of defense. This is a foreboding, as many have already predicted. My insight with them says it all begins here. If we want conflict resolution, we must practice its discipline here. The concept is one of preventative care and building mastery, so when we cross bridges, it isn't an ultimatum to damage control. I see. Hmm. Is that the face of a toucan? This is the elongated neck and then like a long beak. It could more so physically represent a stork, but both have strong messages of good parenting, broadened communication, and sparking creativity. And a clog? Is that a clog? Do you see? Like that's a calf and then there's a foot that's a clog. This further emphasizes the stork as a spirit totem, heightening communication through dance. It's the need to be heard given our own unique energy. As you recall, what makes culture rich is the valuation of our own abundance. If we don't value it enough to emanate that life force, then how are other worlds able to see it as worthy? Furthermore, what does that mean about how we choose to spend our days? How does that look on the outside, globally, then cosmically, and more importantly, how does that feel from the inside? The way it's like the combination of that and then how that looks like almost looks like a chest kind of thing. It's almost like Salvador Dali imagery. It represents the waxing moon in this position, which leads into the full moon. Given so, this may lean towards implications of the subconscious attempting to resurface as an advantage to reveal creative solutions. This artist was very well known for surreal imagery. I see a Kachina, like, dancer warrior here. They're holding a stick right here. There's the head. There's, like, the chest plate, and there's the bottom half. And that's the leg right here sticking out. Do you see that? Spiritual warrior. This is very interesting to me because I had to stop the reading because it didn't just start to rain, but hail came down profusely filling the ground space. It was the highest volume I've seen in the past 15 years of residency. So there's something about dance here. And I've been told to keep doing that, but I just haven't felt, I don't know, with it. But they said to do it anyway. I see somebody holding like a small flag. 
Do you see that arm? It's like a fist, but it's also holding like this little, I don't know if I want to call it a flag. It's like a miniature flag. It's a symbol of how much faith we currently hold in our region. I'm just going to call out the imagery and then I'm going to pair it later with their meanings. Just because there's something very blank slate right now. 1816 on the clock. Very, <laughs> I don't know what it is. But I think I'm supposed to do the reading like that. I suppose that's it. Oh, it's starting to rain. I have to close, like, pour. Yeah, it's starting to pour. Um, I have to go now. 19.55 on the clock. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you to the divine that have joined in. I will catch you later. Do your thing. Um, you know, what we usually do around here. And um, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye for now.